Hi Tony, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Just want to recap on our lesson this afternoon. So, swinging it pretty good, but we can see here as you take the club away, Tony, the first move where you've been trying to keep the club head low to the ground, the first move is the club's moving inside the line. So when we get halfway back, the club is in a very flat position. And for me, your arms are a little bit deep in the swing if we draw where your arms are. If we look at this guy here, Matt Every, we're going to see really that he's... His hands are going to stay a little bit more in front of that blue line. So we can see there, you know, the butt of the club is resting on that blue line. But as he takes the club away, look where his hands are now. They're in front of his chest still, but the club head is also in front of his hands or on his hand line, which is tremendous. As he sets the club, because it's uh, the hands were a bit more ahead, as you can see the shaft angle is much steeper than yours there, Tony. So much better again. That doesn't really affect the main swing as much, but it does affect chipping and pitching. Uh, you're going to hit a lot of fat and fins because of that. I've picked this guy, Matt Every, because he has a very short golf swing. So because his arms are working up a little bit more and the club head's pin, you know, hinging more, it, that's as far as he swings it. Now with you, because everything's working too far around the body, when we get to the top of the swing, that is all we get. When you can't swing it much further, you know, I couldn't swing any further than that on that plane but if we draw again a line on your hand line we can see it's way um, behind your feet or if we draw that on Matt again not a very straight line sorry there you go it's in, almost on his front toe so we just need to get everything working a little bit more upright Tony uh, and that'll make a huge difference we want to keep the downswings pretty good coming into impact you know I always tell you off for being a bit static I'd like to see you turn a little bit more uh, and I'd like to see you hit it a bit harder. You know, you're a good, strong guy. You want to hit it further. Let's start hitting it harder. But let's get that technique a bit sharper. Uh, and I've given you the idea of, you know, if you just stand with your bottom against a wall or a fence or something like that, we want to miss the fence going back. And we can see there you would take it out quite early. Um, so let's get the club working a bit more up vertically. Uh, chipping and pitching, like I said, is the same. And putting... When you was putting over the ball, you were tending to take the club head outside the line, this direction. So when you putt at home or on the putting green, just lay a couple of clubs. You know, one like that, one like that, a nice little gate. And that way you can keep an eye on where the putter head is moving. You know, a lot of people try and keep it a bit too straight. I'd like to see the putter head move slightly inside. And an easier way of doing that was getting you to stand a little bit further away from the ball, Tony. That would help you. So work on them couple of moves for me. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon. Cheers, Tony.